Prezed mid, where's Syndra? I'm going to use this room page. I'm going to go armor pen reds, armor yellows, MR blues, two lifesteal quints, and one flat AD quint. And I'm going to go two lifesteal quints. Um, I'm going to combine that with a Duran's shield start. And I'm just going to try to sit back and farm until level 6. Life's, a bit of lifesteal plus Duran's shield allows you to make it through the early game pretty fluidly. Um, if the enemy champion is really aggressive, just constantly spamming you with spells and stuff, then it can get tricky. Your kill potential is obviously lowered because you're going for lifesteal quints over like more armor pen or AD. But the fact is, Zed's early game is okay. It's really not his strongest. It's not his strongest point though. So if you can make it through that point, get the six, get your ult, start getting items, then you can just take over games. And that's really what this setup aims to do. Um, Twenty-one nine zero to ignite mastery, armor pen, sunder, executioner, nine in defensive tree, just because utility is kind of useless on Zed. Blue buff duration is not. Buff duration is actually not that bad, just because buffs are so good on Zed. But the fact is, like. You don't really need you don't need meditation. You don't really care that much about your summer spell cooldowns. I think defensive tree is just a little better, so that's what I go for. Um, yep, Syndra mid, York jungle as I suspected, and they got Singe top as well. That's a very tanky team. I'll probably be focusing down Syndra and Corky in team fights, just trying to ult them, take them out. York's probably gonna ult whoever I ult, um, just to try to negate my negate the power of Zed's kill combo. Definitely a, war, a, a a valuable strategy. Um, oh shit, food's here. Be right back a second. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the stream. So I'm playing Zed mid versus Syndra. It's going for the young harass on me. I'm gonna let this Duran shield passive kick in. Missed the Q, got the auto off, and I'm gonna look for some nice steal. Maybe he's half health already. Popping a health pot. I'm just gonna let that tick out. I'm not gonna harass him until it until it, it heals into his full health pool. He's actually gonna waste some of that because he actually managed to level up. I got him to full health. Wasn't really wasted actually. Just gonna go for this. Yes. Picked up most of them. Oh, a little bit low. Gotta avoid his harass. Cinder hurts. I'm just trying to get levels really. Early game definitely not my strong my strong point. I'm just trying to farm it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, you got trade kills. That's okay. He drew jungle pressure and kill traded. Holy shit. That was a manly flash. Definitely didn't have to flash there. Um, what is that? 3.30 flash. 8 minute cooldown. Eight minutes cinder flash. Most mid laners that spike into utility turn four thirty. Once I got to sneeze. All right, sorry. So right now he's got one health pot left. Just wasting my harass. Trying to land a W, E, and then Q combo onto him. If I can hit him with both my Qs for my shadow, then he'll take max damage. Yorks mid. Oh god, the York ghoul gank. And he's got five gold now, I better kill him. Wow, tower just one shots them? That's kind of OP. What the hell? This guy's back. I think Cinder's probably gonna back here, so he's just holding the lane. Cinder did him back. She may be trying to back behind one of these corners or something. Uh, she already recalled fuck. She's solo. If I kept her in lane, 
I would have easily been able to get a big lead. Mm-hmm. Just gonna push this up. Push it up and go back. Damn, bot lane is low. Ah, uh, fuck. I wasted time. I wasted like five seconds. So I should've just been recalling. Those guys are definitely gonna recall. I'm not- I can't really get anything out of that. Get a Van Scepter. Boots. And one health pot. I'm not actually afraid of York Jungle Ganks. I mean, there's a chance they could come at me and kill me, but I think I'm pretty okay just going for Van Scepter and Boots over, like, Van Scepter and Wards and Pots. I think with Duran's Shield and Van Scepter Lifesteal, plus the 4% life I have from runes, I should be able to get through lane without many more health pots. Not sure where Cinder is headed. Just gonna push in mid. Oh my god, did he get a double kill? That's not good. Mm -hmm. Let me do Wraith Camp real quick. Cinder got double Duran's Ring plus uh, a Cloth Armor. That's good itemization. It just allows her to not get burst down easily. And makes it more likely, more less likely for me to go for really aggressive plays on her. Really, my, my course of action now is just to like look for some WQ her ass and try to wither her down. And if I can get her below... Eh. Usually you can get a feel for kill kill potential. There with one key there. Probably if I land like two two W E Q combos, I may be comfortable looking for kills. Just gonna push this up. I believe she's getting their blue right now. So depending on how long it takes her to get it, uh, she got it really fast. So right now she has blue. I'm looking to get our blue as well. If I don't get blue and she gets blue, then she can out push me and out pressure me. Um, at least since not going for it or whatever. I use. Just gonna hop in here, do it with him. Lost some CS mid. When Cinder went to get blue, the orc already had a low fur, so it only took her like a few seconds to grab it. But for me, I had to go kill it with him, so it, took a, it just took a little bit longer. Um, Cinder is mid. I'm up 10 CS. That's a pretty good advantage. Just trying to dodge those keys. This on such a low cooldown. I believe it's four seconds base for Cinder. Um, and with CDR, obviously, it goes down. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I can't really help. Try to move. Oh, he backed off. That was really close. I actually chunked Cinder pretty low as she was trying to come help that help him out. I'm gonna push up mid. If she wants to come safely, she's gonna have to go around. I'm not sure where York is. He does that red buff though. I'm gonna be a little bit careful about that. Sure, I'm push her in. Force her to use mana to clear the wave. I should have salted her. Could have easily fought that. That was really bad. Yeah, I just don't know Cinder's damage potential enough. I really did not think she could kill me there. But she, she like, if she didn't, if she ignited me as she ulted, I wouldn't, she wouldn't even have to flash there. I flashed after, but that was, I was already dead. The ignite tick was down. Completely unnecessary. I should have just held my flash and tried to kill her when her flash was down. 
when I went back to late. Not knowing a champion's damage potential is not an excuse for dying to them. That should never have happened. She just kept poking her. I had health pots, I have lifesteal. She had no health pots available. Did the worst thing I could and just W'd onto her. I was just asking for a fight that I could not win. Uh, she's new, so I draw now. That's not looking good. Trying to get a ward down here, dragon. Right. Almost got it. She's zoning me. I was trying to look for maybe a play onto this, the Janna, but it was impossible. I have ward coverage right here. Yeah, dude, I've just been having problems fighting against Syndra the last two games. I think it's time I play her another time, just to refresh my mind on how strong she is. I was actually really happy with the way this thing was going until that death. It's completely unnecessary. Did I DC? She has no flash. Pretty sure we could kill her. She does have a ward here, though. Probably should have told him that. I think she may be looking at back. She probably has enough for Seeker's Arm Guard. She would have probably continued itemizing sort of defensively if I did not die and allow her to afford an ESC Large Rod. Rotating bot. Dan has a word over here. I don't know if she has a dragon word though. Alright. Derek already died. I just want to secure the kill on Janna. I didn't want to waste any time. Don't think I would have been able to. If if I used Ignite on Janna and landed a Q, I don't think I would have been able to turn and kill the Syndra either. It was overkill just for the Janna kill, but whatever. Pushing mid up. Try to get some damage on this turret. Our blue's up right now. Cinder probably just back. Not sure what she's rushing. Maybe an hourglass. Probably will be an hourglass. Hourglass throw set is too good. I'm just gonna get a brutalizer. One of those and one of these and head back mid. <laughs> I can turn that null magic mantle into a, a hex drinker if I want to try to avoid the cinder burst. Or I can go for a Merc Treads or something like that, but the MR is just going to help me not get burst down by her, because she's looking pretty strong right now. She actually did get her Hourglass. 3-0. I can't, I can't move on her. <laughs> she recently got their blue. I'm going to go grab ours. She probably knows I'm going for it here. Just wait a little bit for the red buff, the red buff tick to fade out, and then I went for it. Now that she has hourglass, I'm not going to really be looking to alt her unless I think it's a very easy kill. For example, if she's already blown her hourglass. Oh, he's already dead. 
think Lucian might be fine. Oh, you got caught too. I'm not gonna be able to make it down there to counter gank in time. Not gonna be able to get bots hurt either. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can come around on their bot lane. Maybe I should get a kill. Good. Cinder is moving on me, I should be fine. I use the knowledge that there probably was there probably was a ward at Dragon and down here, so I just avoided both of them by going through the back. I'm just gonna pick up a hex drinker. Their team has actually quite a lot of magic damage. Syndra, Yorick, Singed, all packing our punch. Corky as well. Nothing wrong with getting an early hex drinker to avoid that. I just wanna not get one shot and stuff. So picking that up. All up in five. Singe. I'm not gonna chase Singe. I learned that I learned that lesson in preschool. Her stun is down. That thing is not though. What an annoying champion. Fuck my life, dude. That flash was down. Shouldn't have flashed like that. Such an awkward fight. Damn, I didn't think she hit them out for that. My bad. I thought they were just backing out. Uh, I shouldn't have flashed for the quirky there. I thought all this shit was done because I saw him Valk to try to catch up to Zyra, and I assumed he had already blown Flash, but I was wrong. I think it came off cooldown since I dove bot. I was just air and judgment on my end. Mm, my bad, my bad, my bad. They are solo. He's going to definitely get up in there, make something happen. Mm -hmm. I still could have sat there and fought Cinder. Good steal. Can he get out? Uh, didn't, probably didn't need to flash. Oh, nice job. That was really solid. Yeah, dude. After Cinder popped Hourglass and I got the E off with my last shadow, I still had W up. I could have easily turn there and fire it since I had Hex Trinker. She just got in my head when she flashed onto me for no reason. Does he have Sorilis? Damn, he's pretty far. This turret has one hit. It's gonna go down. Whether I want it to or not. Mm -hmm. Trying to get 1800 for my Blade of the Rune King. That's gonna be a really big upgrade. I need to save 500 more gold to get it though. I'm gonna try and move on this. They have Dragon Warded. Chance I can steal it though. Oh my god, he's solo. And 
So he's coming. Better back up. I'm gonna go hold mid. He's gonna get mid turret. He's gonna hit it once. I ulti Jan in there just because I was caught in the middle of everyone. I W'd in for no reason. I was just trying to get the blue, but she had already grabbed it and made it so I couldn't burst it down. Yeah, it's Singe's a beast. Don't want to mess with him. 300 gold. Damn, he wore it over the wall. 30 seconds on my ult. Everyone else, everyone's pretty much on the same page as their team. Um, Singe is quite ahead of Riven, but I think it's okay. Hundred thirty gold. Can't wait to get that upgrade. <laughs> Damn. What a beast. I missed the vine. Can't go in on that. I have my blade now. We've been holding this turret with like one hand for so long. Oh god. He's dead. <laughs> Don't wanna ult. Just back up. Oh god, so low. Nice job. Go bot. That does need to be cleared. Cinder went way too ham there. If they didn't burst Riven before she got her shield off, they should've just backed out. I don't know why they kept chasing in. Ah, shit. I should dodge this poison slow. I'm gonna back my blade here. I've been delaying it for too long. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I'm gonna get blade and a long sword. And head back mid. Cinder has hourglass, Cinder is building some armor, York's got some armor too. Right now, the best by far target for my ultimate is Corky, so he's the one I'm going to be looking to take out of fights. However, he's also the best ulti ult ultimate target for York to revive, so that's going to be a little bit annoying. Even if I burst him now, he'll be able to come back and make use of that York ult. <laughs> Of course, I can get free kills on Janet too. That would be splendid. I think she's trying to bait me here. Almost guarantee it. Do Wraith camps real quick. Mm -hmm. Our red's up too. Let's see if she can get try for it. You should probably get it. He's pretty big. Mm hmm. I just showed mid. I'm gonna try to sleuth my way into bot lane. Let me get a kill on this guy. That's not good. Where the fuck is Corky? 
I don't have two people died in mid. I think they just didn't respect the same damage. He's mid right now. They can get away, that'd be good, but I think they might be in trouble. Chase so hard, try to move. Uh, stupid corky clone. Whatever. I got just three. That wasn't bad. I got a lot of gold off that too. Got the shutdown on the Singed and the Corky, so that was like a thousand gold bonus right there. I think I might just get a last whisper. Oh no, another death to Syndra. Watch out, friends. She does indeed hurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go for GA next. <laughs> they really don't have that much CC. Picking up the young Mobies just for fun. <laughs> There's no real huge reason behind the the mobility boots. I just felt like it. It's good for assassins like that because you can just run around the map, wave clear, get a lot of free picks off by people who don't expect you to move that fast. I'm just sitting around here. I'm trying. I'm trying to hunt the Corky. If I can get on him, he'll he'll just die. I'm trying to wait for him to go for farm, and I just want to pick him off. Please don't damn it. Am I gonna send people bot to stop me from splitting? I should be able to get away from anyone though. Even singed. And now I'm gonna loop around with my movies and try to get to the fight. Oh, Zara Waste felt. That's not good. Mm. The hell, I still see his poison there. Uh. Just run. Push this out. Getting a free turret. Yorick's probably gonna come hold this. I think I can kill Yorick though, even though I don't have Ignite. Stop the recall. They're coming back. I don't know if I can finish this turret. Got the slow off, stops his home guard, but he does have ghosts. It's not good. Just trying to save flash. This W and get my E off, slow him down, and keep running. Ult's up in 5, I'm just gonna keep backing out. Alright, I'm gonna get home guard, sell my Duran's shield, and I can just pick up a chain vest. Fuck, I should've just got a Negatron Claw, what am I doing? Whatever. 
I'm gonna get red and keep saying. Could also go for black deer, but I can still get that in how I want. I'm ready to kill this guy. Should just wait on my W go down. So hard to catch up. I have the poison so I I could have came ahead on that situation so easily. I saw my flash up and all that. I'm so sad. I just misplayed. Let's see if I can heal the full off this creep wave. I wonder if their blues up. Nice kill on Syndra. Nice kill on Yorick. I'm happy about that. My ult's up in 25. I don't have ignite or flash, but his ult's gonna be down as well. And yeah, only blue is up too. I'm actually just gonna tank this. And finish the turret. Our <laughs> dragons up and check that out. Yep, it is. I'll do that real quick. Alt's back up as well. Oh, uh, dude, if I only got that kill on Sins, that would have been so huge for our team. My bad. It's a little risky to use my W to push here. Best to save it as an escape. Especially if there's a threat of someone who can just chase you down. Uh... See ya, nerds. Just gonna recall here. Got my GA, my Baron, I think they can melt it fast enough. Cinder's not even close to being there. Finish that shit! There you go. Coming. I don't have ult, but I'm coming. Got Baron, got the kills. Should get back out. Try life steal off this. Alt up. It might all just came up. I'm gonna heal off blue while I do it. <laughs> Blue is so good on it's in. He's balanced around being limited by energy, and blue is the only thing that can change that balance. The, 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 amount of, the amount of jukes and kill potential you get with a little bit of, of more CDR and energy regen is so good. Yeah, for real. I'm gonna try to roam. Just 
buy black weaver, I could probably kill this hinge. But without it, it's a little bit tricky. That's good, bitch. Can I get this? Got it. It's worth. It's so worth. Oh no, what are you dying for? You already got the inhib. Friend! Mm -hmm. Can get last item black leader. Baron's already off the map, so my death doesn't really do much. They're not gonna be able to press into us. Just wanted to secure the inhib. That's gonna get super crews pushing on on the bot lane, but then all our crews are any stronger in the other lane, so our 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 advantage is gonna be able to our advantage is gonna be huge. We're just gonna have to group up, force down mid inhib, then we're gonna have two inhib pre downs, uh one I respawn and Lucian respawns, and then we can just have super crews pile up on the mid and bottom sides of the map. And force pressure top while I can split and keep the creeps pushing into their base. And eventually, they're gonna have to send somebody to hold the creeps mid. And we can just group up and dive them top. I wonder if they're blues up. Um, and right now York's trying to trying to stop the creeps pushing by oh, Oracle coming in handy. Pretty hard team to siege into. Oh my god, the hit. Hmm. Brands in 30. Oh my god. Not sure how that happened. Uh, he's probably dead too. That should not have happened. We're just waiting for Super Cruise to pile up bot for pressure on them. Yeah, sorry, friend. Can't help you there. He's QSS too, so I can't really burst him. That's not good. Sooner's also back up too. I have to go to the him. That's unfortunate. Just had to be careful, not get caught out of position. We were just waiting for the crews to pile up, and we could have rotate to Baron or just dove, dove in mid. But as soon as someone dies, we just pretty much lose all pressure. If they try to burst me here, hopefully no one's in this rush. They just placed that word. I'll be back top. Yeah, 
If we can get Baron that, this is going to be worth it. Lucian just respawned though, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Why the hell did Janet walk up like that? Try to waste their time. What the hell? Who stole it? Lucian's here. Kill the corgi. No, you're walking into the poison, friend. Ah, uh, shit. Dinner's still alive. Nice, not bad. I went in to kill the cinder. She still had Zanya's up, so it was actually not the best idea on my end. Should have focused the corgi with the all, even though cinder was chunked. I would have been able to blow corgi up and trade my GA for that, but instead cinder just blocked most of my all damage. Um, we barely came out ahead in the fight. I'd say we came out ahead. They stole Baron, though. If we got Baron, we would have easily won the fight. It was just a bit of an unfortunate situation. I wonder how they got it. I don't I don't remember seeing the York come into Baron Pit. I could be wrong, though. I think it was something like a Cinder Q, or a Cinder combo. <laughs> yeah, she was the only one who could actually reach over the wall. Alright, well, we're down in hit mid. They lost better than everyone but Singed. Um, holy shit, Singed is 10 and 1. I lost my GA in that fight. It's gonna be up in like two or three minutes. <laughs> They have two exposed inhibs, which is good for us. If we can wait for our inhibs to come back up and then exert pressure, we'll be on our way. I'm right back here. Could mm -hmm. get a mom. Mm -hmm. I used to think Ma was trash item, but versus a team with so much burst and magic damage, after the recent buffs they've gave to it, it's actually not bad. Especially if you got an early hex drinker. I told them so hard in that fight. It should be game, I'm not sure. Singe is still up. I went in, dropped my full comm on the Corky. Everyone freaked out and tried to peel for him. I flashed back out. They kept they kept chasing. Corky was already low. He couldn't really get many autos off. And I team just helped clean it up. I just kept on him. Singe can't kill him. Oh my god, it's doing less damage than his autos. I'm just gonna back out. Singe has one more boots, don't wanna mess with that really. J is almost up too. If I if I had J for that fight, I wouldn't have had to flash out. 
So for this fight, I'm not going to have Flash, but I will have my Guardian Angel. That's just a trade-off. I'd rather have, probably have GA, though, because I can get in position and get, land a good ult. Um, without Flash. Did you guys lose? Are you down for the day? Alright, All right, so we got two we got two inhibs down. Just wait for the super to pile up. They're not gonna have to hold all of those out. Singe is gonna be probably the one they're gonna assign to clear those. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the creeps pushed up. trying to zone them from actually being able to face creeps. Singe is... I don't want to waste my health on Singe. She has 4,000 health and Rylize and stuff. Just auto-attacking a little bit to get a feel for his damage. Trying to get my team to pressure top while I do this. I should have a bit more life steal. There's two people holding the super creeps, so... We should be able to four-man pressure. Their base. Going for the Nexus. Just save my ult. Use the blade. Got the Nexus turret. We got the top and him. This is good for us. So good for us. Mm -hmm. We lost. Lost almost everyone. <sighs> Not sure how he lost. It was like three before, but I guess I guess the Sinja is too much of a beast. I'm gonna try to pressure this in here, but Syndra is pretty strong. I'm gonna die. That nah, wasn't worth it. Whatever. It's fine. Should be fine. Their jungler's gonna be dead for a minute. That means we can S4 when we respawn. We're gonna be able to force, force Baron, because they're not gonna have their jungler. I'm really valuable for our team. But I think the fact that they have to deal with creeps and stuff is just going to allow us to pick up a free Baron off the back of that kill. And hopefully end the game afterward. I think that was worth it. Yeah, Singe is in base. That should be a free Baron. No, 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 con no contest. Janice moving to get wards down. So long as Sin doesn't get in the pit, I think we're good. We don't have Lucian, it's dying a little bit slow, but I think that they should have it. Get that shit. Yeah! <laughs> Right, this, this is the game winning push. I sell my boots. I'm just gonna get a Ravenous Hydra. Slow as hell, but I don't really need boots. I'd rather have some life steal so I can actually just heal back up after these fights. Holy fuck, no. no, no, no. Coming. Yeah. 
Yeah, that life's just so valuable. I'm healing off by... What the hell? Stop! I'm going for the inhib. Good. Any off mid. Blade's still down. If Blue's up again, Life's still off of it. Oh, Wolf Cam's up as well. Damn, everyone on the team just respawned. I wanted to save my ult in case Corey came back in, but he was playing pretty safe there. Missile a dragon real quick. We have two we have all three inhibs down and they have one Nexus turret. Once we have Lucian back, we should just be able to end it. The reason I'm comfortable selling my boots is because I know we're just we're, if unless we throw this game, we're gonna be in a hundred percent offensive position. So all I need to do is survive and get as much damage off as possible. I don't really need to run around and do anything where my movies are going to be pretty useless. Five gold, yes. I have so much life still, Singe Poison is. I can pretty much ignore it. And now we got three waves of Super Cruise piling in. It's good. Should be dead. That's game. Good game. Oh, that was a lot of work, but paid off. Yeah, biggest mistakes that game for me were just, again, not respecting the cinder damage. That death at level 7 was so bad. Like, I had all the advantages in that at that moment, and I just, like, went in, and I just took her full combo and died. But made up for it. Roam down bot, pick up the double kill. That was really the big thing that I, that I needed to start snowballing the game. I got pretty fed after that. We just split out, put a lot of pressure. We were behind in kills for the whole game. Like, look at that. 50 to 37, but we still were stronger than them in the end. Um, Lucian actually pre looked pretty strong, to be honest. Uh, his ult seemed useless, like always, but he actually seemed like he was doing a lot of damage in these team fights. So, good game, guys. Um, anyway, I'm going to queue up again and try to find another game to play. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys all very soon, and hopefully get some more awesome games in. I'll be right back very soon, so sit tight.